So it's been some time since I've talked about my channel and how it's doing and stuff like that. Holy crap! 100,000 subscribers! I wasn't ready. <laughs> I'm never ready for milestones, if you haven't caught that. Man, the last state of the channel I did was at 88,000 subscribers, and I don't... It was a while ago. Um, and suddenly my channel, the growth of my channel has exploded by leaps and bounds because of a couple of changes I made towards the end of last year which have been doing amazingly well for my channel. That's beside the point. Uh, I want to thank you personally. Thank you all of you so much for subscribing, for being a part of my audience for these past seven years. It's been seven years that I've that I've been making content on Fallout and The Elder Scrolls and The Outer Worlds and Borderlands and Wasteland and all that good stuff. Couldn't have done it or been motivated to do it without those of you who have stuck around and watched and interacted and hung out in the discord and become patrons and all that good stuff so thank you so much enough being all mushy um i had this fun idea to read aloud comments it's become kind of an ongoing joke the misspellings of kato throughout my channel's existence when people are commenting on videos and stuff like that and i personally get a lot of entertainment out of them so i'm going to be reading aloud comments with misspellings of the name Kato. It's going to be to the tune of me also unboxing the silver play button, which I got not too long ago. Uh, in, in fact, I hit 100,000 a while ago, but I haven't actually made the public version of this video, because what you're seeing is the, the Patreon version of the unboxing. But yeah, let's get into it. Let's let's read some, some comments and the fun misspellings of Kato together. This is going to be like kind of a QA, but these questions have been asked like years ago, um, along with the misspellings of, of the name Kato. So let's begin. We have a few to go through. First one, Kadeo, do a top 10 Fallout apparel or weapons or quests, please. And my reply to that five years ago was, I'll think about it. Thanks for watching. And now I'm doing them. <laughs> and people are really loving them because I'm, I'm putting them in a, um, in a guide format too, which I, I think is kind of adding my own my own flair to it. So I have been, and it's been doing exceptionally well. That one time this Platinum Wolf guy requested something like that, I should have listened. <laughs> I should have listened, Platinum Wolf, you were right. Five years ago, you were right. The next one is, this one's actually pretty long. It's nice to see glitches like these. They are rather amusing. Couldn't hurt if you add a few more Kadeo casualties. This was four years ago. Kato's casualties has since reached about 30 episodes, but now I have to change the title because I'm learning that the, the metadata, the searchability of the word casualties um, gets suppressed, I think, by the algorithm because the ca the word casualties is a negative word. Um, so I'm probably going to change it to like Kato's highlights or something. Something simple, something generic. They also said, unfortunately, the only glitches I experience in Fallout New Vegas are quest glitches and they are the worst types of glitch. That's really unfortunate. I hope you've had some more fun glitches since then. Antarctic Crystal. Hey, Kadeo! There's a lot of Kadeos. I know you love Fallout and Skyrim, but in the time I've followed you, I haven't heard you talk about Oblivion or Morrowind. Did you ever play them, and what do you think of them compared to Skyrim? Both Morrowind and Oblivion were pretty much my childhood. Uh, Oblivion was my first foray into the Elder Scrolls, to answer the question. Um, and I simply stuck to Skyrim because it's been, it's been a trend, basically, since it came out. So that was my starting point, and then I got burnt out on Skyrim. I'll eventually come back for the uh, countdown videos, but Fallout is really my jam, if you guys didn't know that already. <laughs> you should know by now. My freaking character is a Vault Boy. Eh, on to the next one. Kadeo, I think you and Yogg's Cast Will are some of the best Fallout channels ever. Oh, my heart. I loved your playthrough of Fallout 3 and his playthrough of Fallout New Vegas. I first found you with the Pit Steel Bars walkthrough and DLC and unique weapons. Um, these, all of these videos are pretty, pretty far back. I should have labeled like what videos these were off of too, instead of just the time of when, they, <laughs> when they were. Okay, we got a new spelling. Cadell, I missed these guides. Thanks for making more. I think this was Ranger. You were the only one that misspelled it, Cadell. By the way, that, that I when I went through the comments. Congratulations, you are a, a unique spelling of Cato. Did you ever plan to use the Nerd Rage perk, Cadet? Just asking. I never really used the Nerd Rage perk because it's it's the situational, you need to get down to critical health type thing. And I don't usually like those kinds of, I don't like the high risk of being almost dead. To answer the question, oh man, this is fun. This is a blast. 
Hey, Kadeo, here's another Kadeo. Is this gonna be another playthrough in which you collect ungodly amounts of explosives and have montages of your mind disarming? This is the New Vegas Buckaroo playthrough. Cause if so, well, hey, howdy, hey, it's gonna be a heck of a ride. That was my favorite part of the Vagrant Let's Play. The Vagrant was the Fallout 3 playthrough, the archetype I used for that one. Yeah, uh, the Buckaroo playthrough, I did do at least one disarming montage for mines. Um, there's not too many like minefield type situations in Fallout New Vegas as there is in in Fallout 3, but I tried to do my best. I'm pretty sure I had at least one. I could I could clip that in <laughs> for this video uh, if I if I can find the right episode because it did happen. I just don't remember when. Kadeo, I think it would be rather neat if you do a walkthrough of Fallout 1 and 2. Not many people do it, and with your weapon and armor playthroughs, it would be great. Well, since that one year ago, I did do a playthrough of Fallout 1. And unfortunately, not that many people watched it or knew about it or found out about it. So it's actually probably one of my lowest viewed playthroughs of Fallout. And that's when I kind of decided to pivot to something else with the Let's Play type format, because Let's Plays in general has been, have been taking a dip. So I didn't, I never followed up with Fallout 2, but I still plan to. Uh, it's just not in the cards right now because right now I'm working on building up that interaction, that engagement again, because I stuck with Let's Plays for so long and my channel ended up plateauing because of it <laughs> for like a straight two years almost. But yeah, I, I think about it every day to, to answer that question. And I did guides on the classic Fallouts too, if you plan on like playing them. I made sure to do a character creation guide. So if you're interested in playing the, the original Fallout games, I have plenty of guides to get you started. Oh boy, another Fallout 2 question. If you ever do a playthrough of Fallout 2 Kadeo, I recommend installing the Restoration Project by Killat. It mainly reintroduces cut content the devs didn't have enough time to implement, such as the EPA location. I know a lot of people like playing playing games with their like like extra cut content added back in, but I like I like the authenticity of the game as is when it when it comes to classic games especially. So like even the the Jay Sawyer mod for New Vegas, I didn't, I didn't try because my nostalgia lies with New Vegas as it was when I first played it and the official updates that came with that as opposed to the reintroduction of cut content that they didn't have enough time to finish. Yeah, I guess that answers it. <laughs> I, I play Fallout 1 and 2 as I remember them. Um, I use like S Fall and the high resolution patch just so I can play it on a bigger monitor and that's, that's pretty much, <laughs> that's pretty much my modding with the classic games is just to get them to run and then not crash as much. But yeah, I think that answers your question. Here was a kind of a funny one. Kadeo is just ESO in disguise. Yes, I am. I can do an American accent perfectly and I also have way more subscribers on the other channel, um, but this is my hobby. <laughs> um, ESO is another amazing uh, Bethesda Elder Scrolls type creator. Um, you guys should go check his stuff out because he does an exceptional job and he's also British, I think, right? He has an accent and it's beautiful and I wish I could pull it off, but it would sound so fake coming off me. You should, you should hear my Western accent, my cowboy accent in the Buckaroo playthrough. It is pretty cringeworthy. I have a hard time listening to myself trying to do that, but, uh, yeah, good, <laughs> good luck. Enjoy. ESO, you're awesome if you're watching. Kadeo, you forgot to mention that you can get a multi plaz rifle for free in a room in the sewers next to a skeleton. I don't remember where this is from. I have no idea where this comment came from. I got it the other day and no, maybe it was from one of the uh, the energy weapons countdown. Maybe that's where it was from. No, because it was three months ago. Yeah, energy weapons countdown. That's what it was from. I should look at the time. That'll give me a good gist. Yeah, multi-plasma. It's, it's on the list. If you guys didn't watch the countdown, you should watch the countdown because I did an energy weapons one and it's great. Kato, please do Annihilator, it's the most entertaining and Vagrant should be a very slow playthrough. This was somebody asking me to do the Annihilator build because, man, was this was this on the Fallout 3 playthrough? I think it was. The Annihilator was one of the choices when I when I had people vote on what kind of playstyle. Everybody wanted the Vagrant for some reason. The Vagrant is the gun's sneak character. I should have I should have made it something different, <laughs> to be honest, because everybody plays a gun sneak character. This is what people are most familiar with. Um, it's like the sneak archer in in Skyrim. It's like a, it's such a universal build. But I wanted to do something different. Annihilator was a big guns character, big guns explosives, and I was really excited to do it. I'll. I'll probably try to do it with some playthrough at some point because it explosions are my jam 
Um, I've never had an excuse to use big guns, never had an excuse to consistently use them, so I would like one. Um, hint, hint, if we do if we do another playthrough of something. Not Fallout 2, though. Fallout 2's is already planned. Because <laughs> Fallout 2 with, with the Mega Power Fist is amazing. Waiting for new episodes makes me sad. This was six months ago. Your content is good, Kato. I don't know why more people don't watch. My, my sentiments exactly. Um, it could be because things are getting saturated. <laughs> <laughs> that could be part of it. This guy's talking about the, I think it's the Fallout 1 playthrough. This sounds like around the time that the Fallout 1 playthrough is coming to an end. Yeah, the Fallout 1 playthrough finished. Um, so the, the, you can watch the entirety of all those episodes. It didn't take too terribly long to get through Fallout 1. I, sh I should be playing, oh, I'm going to be playing clips of these things <laughs> while I'm answering these questions. And it, if anybody is interested in the other things that I have done, in the last year, or you've been missing it for some reason, um, all of those things are going to be in the info card on the upper right hand side of the screen. You just click the little eye icon and you'll see playlists of the things that I'm talking about. Kado, 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 I think you might have missed a unique weapon called the Steel Saw. It's on Aiden inside the pit. I picked it up. I'm not sure if it's unique. Its DT is the same as the Mauler. Um, okay, so. This is referring to the Fallout 3, this is four years ago, this is referring to the Fallout 3 Unique Weapons Guide for the pit. So, the Steel Saw is the generic variant, but it's easy to get these confused because they all look the same. The Mauler and the Man Opener are the unique, technically, quote unquote, the unique variants of the Steel Saw. And you'll only get it off of Aiden if he's the only person that you end up killing, but of course there's other uh, slaves in the pit that if you kill them, they'll have a steel saw on them. Uh, especially when the fight scene is happening, you'll have so many people just running around with steel saws. Oh, this... <laughs> this one was very sweet. This was a sweet comment. I would write down Kadu's charisma. There's a comma there. But it's too big a number to write down. They were being very kind, complimenting me on my charisma number being well over 10. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, this was also four years ago, so I don't know if they're going to see this. This was from the Fallout 4 playthrough, I believe. How do we know that Kato's saying he used chems like Radex, that he's not actually taking Psycho because he's addicted? That's a good question. That's an excellent question. I, I used the used chems thing to simplify the usage of whatever I decided to use in, in the Pip-Boy itself. I could have very well been using Psycho and or Psycho buff because it is an incredible chem in Fallout 4. Don't do drugs in real life, kids. <laughs> but, oh man, that, that playthrough in Fallout 4 was a lot of fun as well. Kato pulls do XCOM 2 with DLC if possible. Thank you, Kato. Bye. And then I told them I actually did a full playthrough of the vanilla campaign in XCOM 2 via streaming. You can catch it here. And since then, I have done a playthrough on stream from a stream also of the entirety of war of the chosen which is the the dlc for it because it was that much fun the first time i did have highlights of it too i'll just put the highlights of it up Cato, i loved the old unique weapons tutorials for fallout and i fell you are a amazing youtuber thank you if you are reading this i am reading this dude opinion and thank you your opinion is valid and very kind <laughs> so declareth Cato, who's getting buttered up thank you Goose has been a patron for a very long time. Where is the power fist? Are you kidding me? It's literally best weapon. <laughs> you Cardo Genghis. <laughs> Thanks, Goose. Thank you. This one was from the 10 strongest rifles in Fallout New Vegas. Goose is, Goose is on full troll mode. Thanks, Goose. This one's got two misspellings of two separate Fallout YouTubers. Marty Plays sent me, but weirdly, I was already subbed to Kratos Genesis because of the New Vegas stat videos. Maddie effing autocorrect, but he didn't autocorrect. <laughs> he didn't correct my name. <laughs> I think that one's great too. Subscribe to Mr. Marty Plays, guys. Make sure you go do that. Better yet, better yet, go show up on his most recent video and just say Mr. Marty Plays is my favorite YouTuber or something like that in his comment section. <laughs> See what kind of reaction you get out of him. I hope he reacts to that, that'd be great. Kratos, are you mainly single player story driven kind of guy or do you like multiplayer games just as much? Since I've made more friends while doing this and since I live with a nerdy roommate as well, we end up playing a lot of multiplayer games. Myself, 
Kite, Nelsar, Bad Company Sarge, patrons, like other people in the Discord if I feel really wild. We did a Left 4 Dead day at one point and that was, that was really fun. I ended up getting my team killed a lot. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's gone from single player and kind of leaked into multiplayer a bit more for like the leisure time games to answer the question because I've been playing a crap ton of Monster Hunter World and if you haven't seen the highlights of Monster Hunter World Iceborne with Nelsar or even prior to that it is so much fun even Borderlands 3 like those kinds of games have like the perfect amount of progression uh feedback a little bit of story as well as you can experience it with with your friends and I think that is like coming closer to be like more of the best thing for me because I experiencing it with people I care about has become more important than just having a single solo experience. There are of course outliers like The Witcher 3 for example. I poured like double the playtime. I think I'm at like 200 and something hours now on The Witcher 3 and of course that's a single player experience but I was also doing it for content but of course I finished it right? You gotta finish something once you start it. <laughs> so it varies. That answers the question, I'm sure. Hey, Cedo, I wanted to ask, is there any way we could connect with you? Yes, there is. I'm glad you asked, pastel underscore pink four years ago. I have a Discord server. It's in the description of pretty much every video I've uploaded since the Discord server has been a thing. It's been several years now. There's a link below for the Discord, for the Kato Genesis Discord. Um, I'm there and I'm lurking all the time because it's in my second monitor most of the time. So if you pop in, become part of the community, you'll probably interact with me too. So there you go. Cedo Genesis, I have three words for you. Fusro da. Oh! I just flew out of my apartment window and came back. I didn't, I'm, I'm dead now. A Fusro da from two years ago, just wiped me out. I'm done, retiring. Cedo, are you gonna make guides on other games? This was one year ago. This is when I was doing short form guides for Fallout 76. I did quite a few on 76. I've since stopped due to personal choice. If you watch or listen to the Pipcast 3000, you'll know, you'll definitely know why. I still play it, but I'm not gonna make more content on it. Yes, to answer the question, yes. I've done videos on The Outer Worlds now, Borderlands 3, more on Fallout New Vegas, and The Witcher 3 now. Yeah, there's going to be videos on different games. For sure. Of course, I mentioned, you know, Fallout 3, Skyrim, Fallout 4, oh, man, even Fallout... We, we could go to, go to the classics again. Go to Fallout Tactics, Fallout 1, Fallout 2, and do some countdowns for those too. Don't know. Don't know. Isaiah's Gaming Godinez from one year ago. We'll, we'll experience it together. No doubt. Cedo Genesis, I was here when you were at 4K, 4,000 subscribers. That was so long ago. That was... This comment was from five months ago. Slime time. But when I was at 4K subscribers, early 2015 is when my channel shot up. Due to a little music video I put together called Wazer Wifle with the dudes of Open Minded. And while that was exceptionally popular, the follow-up, Date with the Deathclaw, was not as popular because it took so long to make. There were some bumps that came along the way later on with Wazer Wifle. Um, and I had taken it down for a while, but since it has been brought back up on my channel, it's public again. And you can go watch and listen to it if you haven't already, and I would be surprised if you hadn't. But then again, it did come out in 2015, so <laughs> yeah, go listen to Wazer Wifle if you feel like it. But those of you who have stuck around since that long ago, by the way, you guys are amazing. I'm so happy for you, Cedo Gynesis. Well done and GG from Jade No More, another one of my patrons making fun of the misspellings of my name. I, it's, getting, it's getting more and more meta as we go. Steeltown Eric, an <laughs> another patron. Dag1, grats, k do. <laughs> That's almost French, isn't it? Or, or c, c do. Thanks, Eric. They they did the, they did those comments specifically so they could be a part of this video, I think. <laughs> hey, Kato, would you rather fight the entire Enclave army with a rusty 32 pistol or fight a divine deathclaw with a BB gun? Well, I think we all know the answer to that one. The BB gun, obviously. Red Rider Limited Edition. I'd have a better chance, I think, with the uh, with the BB gun against the Deathclaw. Thanks, Bomber Boys 130. Oh, this one was on the unique apparel and armor guide for Fallout 4. Weird question. What makes your videos worth watching, kiddo? Kiddo? Chetto? <laughs> a Chetto, almost. I'm, I'm gonna say Chetto for this one. Usually, I try to I try to listen for what the audience is looking for. That's what you do when you make a channel and make videos. You're looking for a particular audience. My audience, I'm hoping, is for people that were like me, 
when I, from before I made my channel, were like, where do I find this one thing or these things that I really want to collect in this open world game that I play or in this game that I play? Or where do I find the best this in this game that I play? And it happened to, to gravitate towards Fallout because I love Fallout. I love the universe and the franchise. I, I didn't find enough videos to feed my interest in collecting and getting things or they were not the quality uh, I would want for something. So I was like, well, I'm going to do this and I'm going to I'm going to do it for the community and I'll I'm also going to do it the best I can. Boom. Kato Genesis came into existence in essentially early 2013, and I've been making videos on it ever since. I thought your name was Keto Genesis. Yes, yes it is. If you pronounce it with a K and a T, yes. I want to say also that like, you can, you can spell my name however you want. In fact, I encourage people to do that. <laughs> If you want to be in, in future ones like this, just do whatever you want with the, with the spelling of my name. It makes it more fun for me to read comments, honestly. Like, if that became an ongoing thing, I could make a shirt. I could make an actual, like, t-shirt, which I would buy for myself, by the way, of all the misspellings of Kato Genesis and wear that. Please, if you want to, when you comment on my videos, not just this one, totally butcher the name, let's make a shirt. So that, Wastrels, is the unboxing of my silver play button, which I now have hanging up behind me. You can see it if you become a patron and check out the monthly updates and also the amazing uh, examples of the misspellings of my name via some comments I've seen and pulled from my channel in the past many years of my channel's existence. Thank you again, all of you, for the laughing and the, the giggling and the, and the snark and the, all that stuff along with me for the past seven years. Here's the seven years more, for real. I would love to continue having this be my full-time gig. And so, those of you who are still invested in the nonsense that I have to say, do whatever you see fit, really. I'm not here to force you into anything, but I will tell you what helps me out. What helps me out is sharing my content. What helps me out is becoming a patron. What helps me out is just doing a simple thumbs up. What helps me out is making a comment and telling me how, how great or horrible I am. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you want to do, man. Just as long as as long as you do something. How about that? Show me you exist, wastrels. Leave me some leave me some comments and misspellings of my name. Thank you to the patrons, the ones that support me and the channel. By name, thank you to Wasteland Legends Fen. This has gone on way too long. Thank you so much. I'm Kato slash Kato slash Kadeo Genesis, and may you wander the wasteland like you own it.